Good morning students. How are you all? Hope you are doing well. I am Shweta and welcome to the maths class of standard 3. I am teaching you chapter number 1 that is number and numeration. In this video we will cover the 4 new terms that are face value, place value, short form or short notation, expanded form or expanded notation. So let us start with face value. Okay. So as you can see I have written here two numbers. Okay. The first one is 2222. Okay. The second one is 5327. So, to find out the face value of a certain digit, we have to just write that number itself. Means a face value of a number is the digit itself. Like, if I will tell that face value of this digit, that is 2. 2 is placed at 1's position. But, its face value is 2 because the face value means the digit itself. Okay? Now, the face value of this 2 as this is at 1's position and this is at 10's position. The face value of this 2 is again 2. Okay? Now, this 2 is placed at 100's position. 1's tens, hundreds. Okay? But the face value of this 2 is still 2. Okay? And this 2 is placed at thousand position. But the face value of this 2 will remain 2. So here we can see that since the number is 2222. Still all two have similar face values. Okay? Because face value means the digit itself. Like you can see the second number that I have written 5327. If I will ask you that what is the face value? Of this 7. Okay. Then. What is the face value of this 7? Think. The digit itself. So it should be. Yes. Very good. 7. Okay. Now the second number is 2. It is placed at. Tens position. But. The face value of this 2 will be. Very good. 2. Understood? The face value of this number will be 3. And the face value of this digit, it is placed at 1000 position. But the face value of this digit will be the digit itself. So here I will write 5. So here you have seen that since these numbers are placed at different different Places. Here I have, that's why I have written here the digit that contains the similar number. Okay. But this two number is placed at different, different position. But the face value of a number is a number itself. Understood this point? Now we will find out about the place value. Okay. Here again I have written the same number. Now what is place value? A place value of the number is the position at which it is placed. Like I have drawn here two tables. Okay. So to know the place value of the number, first we have to know that at which place that number is placed. Okay. Like here 2222. Okay. And I have drawn here the places. 
thousand, hundred, tens and ones. So, how we will write this? This is two thousand. Okay. So, this two will be placed at this position because this is the column of thousand. So, this two we have to write here. Okay. This two is at thousand position. So, we have to write it here at thousand position. Okay. Now, this two is placed at ones, tens and hundreds. So, we have to write this two here. Okay. Now, this is also completed. Now, we have to look for this two. It is placed at tens position. So, in the place, in the column of tens, we will write here two for this two. Okay. And this two is placed at ones position. So, in the column of ones, we will write this two. Now, what is the place of this two? This is two thousand. What I have written here? Two. And this two is placed at thousand position. So, the place value of this two is two thousand. Like two thousand. Understood? This two digit number is placed at thousand position. So, the place value of this two is two thousand. Clear? Now, this 2 is placed at 100's position. Isn't it? So, the place value of this 2 will be fake. This is the, this 2 is placed at 1000 position. So, if it is placed at 1000 position, so the place value of this 2 will be 2000. Similarly like that, if this 2 is placed at 100's position, so the place value of this 2 will be, yes, very good, 2 100. Okay. This 2 is placed at tens position. Means 2 tens are there. Okay. How many tens are there? 2 tens are there. So, this, the position of this 2 will be 20. Understood? And as this 2 is placed at ones position, so here again the digit we have to write as itself. Okay? And so this is the place value of these different twos. Now we will look for this new number that is 5327. So this is 5000. So at the place of 1000 we have to write this 5. This is 5000. This is the position of 1000. So, we will write here 5. Okay. Now, the place of this 3 is 5300. So, where is the place of 100? This is the position of 100. So, we have to write 3 where? In 100 position. So, we will write here 3 at 100's position. Now, what is the place of this 2? This is at 10's position. So, we have to write this 2 at tens position. Okay? And this 7 is at ones position. So, we have to write it in ones position. Now, the place value of this 5 will be 5 very good, 1000. And the place value of this 3 will be 300. Okay? Now, this 2 is placed at tens position. So, two tens are there. So, two tens means 20. Okay? And this seven is placed at ones position. So, we have to write the number seven. Okay? Now, the place value of this five is 5000. The place value of this three is 300. The place value of this two is 20. And the place value of this 7 is 7, the number itself. Okay? Understood? I have written the definition of face value and place value. And also given an example of that. You just pause this video and write it down in your maths copy.
Now, first we will find out that what is expended form. So here I have given the uh, definition of that expended form. Expended form is a way of writing numbers to see place value to see the place value of individual digit. Like this number I have written 5376 as 5376. So this number is known as short form of the number like 5376. Okay, this is the short form of the number. But expanded form of the number we used to write when we want to know the place value of the certain digit. Okay, like I have written here 5376. So, what is the place value of this 5? 1000, 1, 10, 100 and 1000. So, the place value of this 5 is 1000. So, where we will write this? At 1000th place. Okay, and what is the place value of this 5 is? What is the place value of this 5? Yes, 5. Thousand. Very good. Okay. Now, this number 3. The place value of this 3 is 5003. Very good. 100. So, at the place of 100 we will write. And what is the place of this 3? 300. Okay. Now, the place value of this 7 is 10th position. And the place value is 7 tenths is equal to 70. Okay. And the place of this digit is 1s. So here we will write. And the place value of this digit is 6. Okay. Understood? We can also write this like 5000 in numbers. 5300 like 5. 1300 7 tens 6 5000 plus 300 plus 7 tens 7 10 plus 6 okay so, if we will write the number, this number 5376 as 5000, 5000 is there, plus 300, plus 70, plus 6. So, this is the expanded form of this number. Understood? Now, what is short form? Suppose like this, the number is written 5000 plus 300 plus 70 plus 6. And the question will come like write down the short form of this number. Then you have to write it in the short form like the first digit of each number you have to write like 5, 3, 7, 6, 5376. Is it clear to you? Now pause this video and write it in your copy.